In 1835, the government of the United States and the Cherokee Nation signed the Treaty of New Echota, which forced our ancestors to give up their homelands and move west on the Trail of Tears. Today, people remember that dark chapter in our nation's history, where one quarter of the Cherokee Nation population perished. But they may not know that the same treaty promise that was used to remove the Cherokee Nation also guaranteed the tribe a right to send a delegate to Congress. For two centuries, Congress has failed to honor that promise. However, the Treaty of New Echota has no expiration date. The obligation to seat a Cherokee Nation delegate is as binding today as it was in 1835. In 2019, I nominated Kim Teehee as Cherokee Nation's first ever delegate. She's a former White House Senior Policy Advisor for Native American Affairs and has extensive experience working in the halls of Congress. She'll be a strong and effective advocate for all Native Americans. We're a people, and just as everybody else has a voice in Congress or Senate, we need to have one. Not only is it beneficial, but it would make us proud because, again, it's someone that will uh, help fight for our water resources, our health, our sanitation, also the opioid crisis, which has affected Indian country. <laughs> Anything that we do that helps our tribe also helps other uh, Native peoples as well. It's really groundbreaking and it's also really historical for indigenous populations everywhere. I think back at the ancestors who lost their lives and who survived the Trail of Tears, my ancestors, as I think back at what they went through in order for this particular treaty provision to have never been fulfilled. And so to have Congress take action to finally seat the delegate would be a tremendous honor, but also would show that the United States keeps its word. We often get asked, why now? Why 200 years? Well, it's because forced removal means all that we had developed in the East, all that wealth, the housing, all of that. We had nothing when we came here. Look at the time it took for the Cherokee Nation post-removal to rebuild itself. It's important to the Cherokee Nation that Congress seats its delegate to Congress this year.